today is Sunday and everybody's having a, a rest day. Today where everyone gets to do what they want. You know what you're thinking? You're thinking who would want to rest? Definitely not the dogs. <laughs> Come on. Come on, go pee. And definitely not me. I do not know how to rest. I hate it. I have a lot of things planned for me today while everyone else rests. How are the horses? Good. How's Chino? He's good. Good. Do you guys know Chino's been reliably sound for like a month now with not a single issue? <laughs> Oh, she's like, I missed you. You look at where you're doing at. I know. Yeah, she's looking for her donut. Sam brings some donuts every day. Every single day. <laughs> Make her listen. Sit, sit, sit. There you go. There you go. So I can't bring Daisy out with me in the morning. Sophie brings her out. <laughs> Ellie's gone to find a spot to eat it. She's like, I can't eat it on the dirt. <laughs> I need to eat it on the grass. <laughs> She's like, I need to hide. <laughs> I saw cats here yesterday. You saw cats in our yard yesterday? Yeah, so it could have been. Yeah, I saw a black cat in our yard yesterday too. Anyway, you guys know that I'm worried to bring our chickens home because I don't know if our coop is secure. Yesterday I felt like there was something Something had gotten in the coop overnight. So last night I set a trap. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see. Oh, it's good. <laughs> so I threw a piece of bread in here last night and my test was to see if something got it. Don't touch it, Ellie. <laughs> and nothing got it. I'm gonna leave it here for a little longer. But if, hey, Molly, leave it. But who knows? Maybe we are secure. Maybe I did drop all that hay. I don't think I did, though. Do you think I dropped it? Did you remember seeing all that hay on the ground yesterday, the other day? It's actually cold out today again. I love cold days. So that's all the dirt, all the hay that I pulled out of the thing that we pulled out. It doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, it was a lot. And while they sleep, I'm going to do a little bit more work in this barn. I have an idea about this, this last little bit of hay that's in here. The hardest part about raking up all this hay was that you were bringing all the, all the sand and then you had to sift it and then it just took forever. So my, so I'm going to try a different kind of rake. I have another one that's better than this. I'm gonna try this kind of rake though and see if it will just like scrape all the yucky stuff off the surface. Hopefully that works because I do not have another three days in me of sifting and carrying hay. I think it worked you guys. This is Penny's hay from yesterday. She was eating there. I'm gonna rake that up too. We're never gonna be able to feed them in here because it's just not good on this sand. It's hard to get out. The hay is hard to get out. So I think I did it though. Like there's literally hardly any hay left. I'm just gonna get my wheelbarrow and I'm going to scoop it up and that's gonna be the end of this sucker. Oh wait, until we have to deal with this. I was wrong and he's always there for 
so much better. All you can see is sand. Being able to clean up all this hay actually taught me a lot. Tell me that there's no way in heck we can ever feed our horses on that sand. It just like gobbles up all the hay. It's, it's terrible, you can't feed on that. Great for horses feet, but you can't feed on it. So it got me thinking, like what are we gonna do in the winter? Like what if, like where are we gonna feed our horses? Ideally we're gonna feed them outside, even in the winter. But there are times when it's pouring rain and we like to feed them inside. Even though I know the horses can stay out in the rain. Our horses are weird. They like to be dry and warm and I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, so then it made me think like, what if we use this area? Because we have no idea what we're going to use this area for. Other than to bring horses in and out potentially. We also have the other way. But what if we put like a big feeder in here? Like what if we put a huge feeder in here? Oh, it wouldn't work because... Only two people could stand in doorways. Yeah, this won't work either. There's so much unknown still. And yesterday when we brought the horses home, I was actually feeling overwhelmed and scared. Scared because like, I don't know what we're doing. But I think that's a big part of bringing horses home. When we brought Stella to our little farm, we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't even know how to build a fence or make a fence or like, we didn't know anything. And we learned and we know a lot more coming to this farm. It's just the layout and making it work for us that's confusing to me. I like that this little room could be a shelter. And I guess in a lot of ways, the horses are gonna tell us what works for them. We're gonna let them lead in some areas and we'll just figure it all out. So I made a few small changes I'm going to show you. I'm just trying to get a bunch of stuff finished before I go in for breakfast. But so this is going to be our tack area. Depending on how we do it, it might be saddles and bridles, which I think is what's going to have to happen. Um, and then our sitting area, which I sat here yesterday, put my boots on. I'm going to do a different rug for down here. And then I thought this could be like a tack area. I could put like, we could put our boots and our helmets in here. We could put like probably boots and helmets. We could even hang bridles and stuff in there. I don't know, but I thought I would turn it around so we can use it. And it's just right next to our tack up area. Come see what I've done. So in here, I emptied that thing the best that I could and it's still heavy and I'm gonna get Sam to help me move it. The problem is Sam has bad knees. So, and nobody else can lift it, just me. But my sons are coming soon. Uh, oh, look at that. Maybe I could do it myself. My idea is to put it in that spooky barn right out there, that barn. So I'm gonna put it in there and we're gonna go and explore that when the girls wake up. So essentially though, I've cleaned up. Okay, I haven't <laughs> finished, but I cleaned up this whole area and it's where Sam wants to store hay. Do you know what I like better? What if we moved Chino's stall back along here and then he took up less space over there? And then he'd get out away from the door. I just don't know, like these are in the ground. Well, maybe not, I don't know, I think they are. Oh, it's just wobbly because there's a gate. Anyway, I don't know, it's all coming together. Having the horses here yesterday showed me a lot of things that I needed to do. I got a lot of cobwebs and stuff cleaned in these two stalls and even a little bit in this stall. Uh, we need to get these floors ready for mats. We need to take that down, that fence. I saw from having the horses here, if you guys don't know, Gabby always gets to pick her stall. She always gets to pick her stall. And even though Gabby loves Chino, loves him, like 
yesterday in the trail ride, I could see that they're getting there again. Like, I feel like she was so frustrated and heartbroken with him having issues and us not being able to figure it out, even with all the help we had. And now, like, he's ridden for a month and had not had a single issue. And he's, like, on that trail yesterday, I saw something click and she's excited about Chino again. She's excited and driven a bit more driven again. Like, having horses is a huge emotional toll. Like, when something goes wrong, your whole spirit goes into a turmoil because your heart is broken and, like, it's just such a connection. Anyways. Even though she loves Chino, wherever we go in life, Storm will always get first pick of everything. <laughs> doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if she ever rides him. It doesn't matter if she, like, she loves him. He's her first horse. Something about getting a horse at 11. And it creates this kid bond that you can't break through. So I saw yesterday that no matter what happens when we move here, no matter what I want, no matter what Sophie wants, no matter what Sam wants, Storm's getting that stall. <laughs> Chino's getting that stall or this area. We might even just use this as a run and a run in for him to get out of the sun. And then maybe he could go into that area. And Penny's getting this one. <laughs> this one's a bit bigger. I think Chino should have it. So I also saw that things we have to change are these doorknobs. This did not clothes good for Gabby yesterday and I don't know if it's that she needed to lift it up probably I don't know see it's not lined up very well who does that so technically we could just move this down and it could fit take these nails off because storm would in one second all of our horses would put their head over and scratch on that so maybe get a handle that's more gentle uh, fix that or get new handles maybe we'll go look for handles today oh look at that storm's door doesn't even close I don't know why. Uh, anyway, Sam, so we'll be fixing that. Likely we're gonna get new handles. There's little things like nails sticking out. Oh, this one works. But I am gonna have to go around and inspect and see what kind of dangerous things there are. So the doors, the mats, absolutely have to be in before our horses can come home. I mean, the mat's probably not that big of a deal until it starts to get colder, but we are gonna get them in. We have a bunch of mats to put in there. Uh, Thursday, Sam's gonna get the wood for this, and hopefully, hopefully, he gets right to work on it. Hi. So, what do you think? Oh. What do think of what? I don't know what I'm and that, my friends, is what I live with. And that's why I should videotape everything I do. I got all the, all the stuff out of here, like six more wheelbarrows yeah. full of stuff. Do you notice it? You want me to bring the tractor in and try and uh, yeah. dig it up? Yeah. I'll only dig it up and then we can level it with the rake. So. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. And then I cleaned all this. Look, I got all this hay out except for that little bit that I can't. Is this heavy stuff? It is, but I can drag it. I'm going to put it in that barn over there because we're not using it. And then I cleaned up, well, I, I'm in the process of cleaning up this. Do you know where you want to put the hay? Well, it's gonna go there, right? Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if these weren't like so deep in the ground that we could move Chino's stall back? And then it wouldn't go so far and then he could come in and not be so close to the door. Like that would be, I'd like that. Yeah, right, because the wind comes from the north, so. Yeah. So in the winter, it's going to be cold, is that what you're saying? Yeah. In here. <laughs> in here. All you of our. To buy one of those uh, things. Yeah, I love those. You know those things that come down, like those it's strips? Like strips. Of... Yeah, I love that. So as it stands, we don't need shavings in here quite yet. And shavings would be a nightmare in here. Do you have any ideas about this? Yeah, I'm just gonna buy a um, regular gate. This is like... Yeah, because these are that door doesn't even close. Thing. I, don't know. I know, like how did you... So, I don't yeah. even know. I can just put another piece of wood here. Like a wider one sticking out? Just oh, it closes one. now if you push it. If you push it hard. Push it. But I mean... It still I doesn't fit that. All off. Yeah. Buy some new latches. All right. Nobody wants those. Uh, what about at the end there? Do you think the end one fit works? 
Yeah, but I, I have to change them all. Yeah, it's gross. This is, we're gonna take all this plastic off because I'm getting the wood next week. So when he says we should take all this plastic off because he's getting the wood next week, he, what, do you, what do you really mean, Sam? I mean, you should take <laughs> plastic off. Yep, I will. We gotta level it and get our mats in here and stuff. Yeah, I know, so there's a lot. So we can Let's do a quiz. How well do you know your family? Look, there's like, because of that stuff, there's these stupid nails everywhere, staples. I have to pull all those out and then I have to rake them all up. Okay, so where do you think the horse is? Who's gonna get whose stall? Show me where the stalls are gonna go. If our three big horses had these stalls, who would get what? Gino, Storm, Penny. So Chino in the end, Storm in the middle, and Penny here? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because the little horses can be out there. Well, all of them can be out there, but I mean like Penny can go out there too. But why do you think, why did you choose Storm in the middle, Chino in the end? Because Chino's going to be in the end anyway. Oh, okay. So you can go straight in. I thought you would say because Gabby chooses. Yeah, Storm. The idiot has Storm time. is our troublemaker. We don't really mean he's an idiot. We love him. We love him so much. Like, not he's everybody. Like a stallion. He needs to. Yeah. So. He's a boss. Do yeah. Whatever. So it's. Well, actually, I don't know if he should be in the middle because then he can torment every horse. Well, once these are done. Oh yeah, you're okay. putting up walls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Him being away in the middle is perfect. Before we bought Storm, he was in his own field for two years. And he was alone a lot. Like he, he, he was alone a lot. I swear he never learned how to make friends. But one solution for us was Storm because he's he hard. At the last place. Though. Yeah. So he does make friends sometimes. It has to be a really select horse. So you guys know Buddy at the Lesson Barn. Loved him. Storm and him were so close. And when Buddy got moved to a different field, I was heartbroken for Storm. Like Storm does not make connections very well but when he does he he's like best friends he wants to be friends with everybody he doesn't understand why they don't like him he's impulsive and he's he's like volatile like I, I have so many videos everybody's just standing there minding their own business and then all of a sudden out of nowhere storm will charge them all like they're just eating grass and something will happen in his own head and he'll get upset or decide that he needs to prove to them that he's the boss or whatever it is and he'll just charge the ball and that's why penny stays away and that's why in the last video i said that Penny doesn't like to be with other horses. She was, it, her heart was healing with Chino and our herd until we brought Storm home. And then him being out there with her, it set her right back because she doesn't understand that. She doesn't want to be on edge all the time. She doesn't want to have to like run for her life and, and always be watching to see when she needs to run for her life. She doesn't have faith in Storm. The horses are either scared of Storm or they don't want to be near him.